Hi right, guys, welcome back to Magikoi. Last episode, we had the homeroom where we, was, we got to meet the Dominator teacher. That was really fun because she likes to whip people. I'm assuming she gets off on it. That was pretty much the most exciting thing that happened in the last video. So let's continue. The afternoon classes and homeroom end. Yes, let's go to our club. All right. So diligent every day. Members of the Going Home Club started our club activity. Oh, that's the club we're in. All right, all right. You do that. You go shoot some arrows. <laughs> Good news. I'm gonna go on this book to person in class D, if you'll excuse me. Hmm. Yeah, there's many actual experiences, and it's a fun read. Gakudo, shut up. No one cares. Well, I'm on the guy borrow it. We have fun with that, Gakudo. This is like my club activity. My parents told me it would come in handy if I made lots of acquaintances. I finished my business and head home. Well, we're not good enough for you, buddy. Is that it? He wouldn't know what to do with a girl if it landed in his lap. Uh, well, it depends on the girl, I guess. I mean, let's say you're going with get impatient and start going with a girl with spending habits. I mean, she would suck every penny out of you and leave for another man. Shut up, Gakudo. Stupid in the window. <sighs> well, with that aside, what about Kazuko? Oh, that's so bad. Don't call her dog. She's clearly a cat. What about Miyako? Mm, that's true. Someone take Miyako, please. I don't want her. <sighs> Gakudo, she just needs to have a pulse, buddy. We're going to work on that. I can't grasp her personality, but there's a first year student with a gray body at the dorm. You're the pickiest person I've ever met. Yeah, what about real women? <laughs> no, that's okay, buddy. You'll get it. We still have a long ways to go. You would you do that? Can you do that? No, no, I'm all wrong. I'm bored. Guess I'll read the novel I borrowed. Oh, you have to get a part-time job in preparation for the summer. Uh, thing again. I don't care to talk to you, but I will anyway because that's the game. I'm wondering if my parents are doing well on the road. I'm hoping they'll send me some more money. They are wonderful parents. They asked me if I want to go overseas as well, but I don't really want to go to another country. No, they're not bad. Hmm? I know, I saw the news. He caught the guy who didn't pay his bill, right? What could he be doing now? Uh, probably on some exotic cruise somewhere. Oh, he's in my room. Hey, what's up? Green onion robbing in my room? The son of a bitch! He knows it's gonna stink up the place. Oh, souvenir! Thank you! What is it? He hands me a green onion cracker. I don't want a cracker, dude. Cops, huh? Kind of think take a long time? Well, 
Why were you in Saitama, huh? Mm. That's a likely story. When I like the wind during the weekend. Okay. You must really like Journeys, man. I didn't like that game. I played it once and I was like, eh, it didn't do much for me. I thought you learned your lesson after you spent the night under a bridge last time. Okay, that would be pretty creepy. That's right, you get away. Why, are you going to try to rape him too? I think he'll enjoy it though. <laughs> What's with those onions, man? You've been listening to Miku. <laughs> Sweet, thank you, man. I'm so with the smell of the ramen. But the smell sure is appetizing. <gasps> There's only the soup left. Son of a bitch ate all the ramen. Oh, look who it is. Man, you give green onions to everybody. <laughs> you just got a bag full of them. He just, he just hands them out to people. Sorry, it was like his business cards. Here you go. Cha. No, I said ciao. Did you not hear him? She's way too timid for me to like, like her at all. It's just overdoing it. It's okay, you can throw them away. Oh, goodness. Yeah, I guess so. Sorry, I'm yawning. It's like 3 o'clock in the morning for me. What is that thing? It's a horse. A horse is a horse, of course. Of course. She talks to herself a lot, so who cares? She gets the answer she wants. Hmm. She is cute, though. I'll give her that. Okay. Uh, eccentric doesn't even begin to describe it. Okay, I don't know what that means. It's a little creepy. After dinner, we go for as well as Monday through Friday. I take a bath. Thanks to Kawakami City's deep subterranean development and the excavation of hot springs, this storm has hot spring water. Even Nissan and Wanko come here from time to time to take a bath. But the women's bath is on the second floor, and the men's bath is on the first floor. So incidents you might expect never do happen, except for probably right now when they will most inevitably happen. This is the men's room. Hey, what's up? Yeah, you did. It was my bath. You saw me come in here. Don't try to play dumb. But I don't care since I haven't taken my clothes off yet. I know what you're trying to do. Get out of here. It's not fair the girls can go wherever they want in the dorms. But guys can't go up to the second floor without permission from the girls or they'll be dragged through the city and be expelled. Well, or so I hear. The day ends. That was a very, um, fulfilling day. Got a lot of stuff done. A lot of, a lot of stuff happened. Busy days, busy days indeed. Never thought these days would get even more boisterous. 
April 21st. It is a Tuesday. The next day. Wait. Wait. Oh, whoops. I know what I saw. I saw a virtual boy. No one in the history of anyone will ever have a virtual boy hooked up to anything. If you have a virtual boy, please dispose of it in the garbage immediately. Oh, God damn it. You know, you'd be more likable if you weren't so fucking weird all the time. No, I don't. Uh, it's up somewhere else. Uh, well... No. I'll get up, I'll get up. I should have said that. See, the virtual boy's right there. No one will ever have a virtual boy. It's a horrible system. There we go. Yeah. That's Xbox 360. I like the red. I don't think I ever... Red a bit would have been cool for that. That's, that's a PS3, obviously. A fucking Virtual Boy? Are you serious? I know it's a Nintendo console, but goddamn. They kind of got a Wii? Got some weird ass gaming habits. Yeah, man. I play my PS3 and Xbox 360, but you know, I, so, some days I just gotta crack out the Virtual Boy. Alright, enough of that. She wasn't phased at all. She's good. No, I don't want to wake up, Cookie. Please, please leave me alone. I have a headache. Oh, you know you like a Zuichi. He's in trouble first thing in the morning, too. All of us, including Captain, head to school. I thought so, too, yesterday. Let's do it. Let's go to sleep. I'll skip school. Fuck school. Perfect time to skip school. P in the morning. That was crap. When I was a senior in high school, I had that. I had that too. Like every, every group, like freshman, sophomore, junior, senior, had P at a different time. Mine, the seniors, you had it first thing in the morning, which I hated. I have one too. A whistle. What are we talking about? Oh yeah, call for Wanko. It's Dog Girl. Wanko. I will never get tired of that name. Wanko. Yo, Wanko. He's so cool though, Captain. Oh, you let your body do the talking, huh? Interesting. Maybe I should play your route. <laughs> Everyone thought it would be fun to train her. What do you want? I'm looking at me like that. Weird. Fine. I'll give you my caramel. It's a treat. It's not supposed to be juice. No. You just did, you idiot. Did you not read the text bubble? It was clearly English. 
No, this ought to be good. <laughs> oh god, never speak English again. Yeah, indeed. Even Gakudo's telling you off, you know it's gotten bad. Feel bad for Wonko. Just eat the caramel for now. I put it in her mouth. Stupid allergies, of which I don't have. I just sneeze a lot sometimes. Blanco, this is your chance to get back at him and call him stupid. He does not care. Let's go to school, man. Keep him out of me any day of the week, you know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? Yeah. <laughs> Fine, you can give the command. The ferocious Kazawa Kazama family will sortie. Lead the way, Wanko, strike fear into the people. What the hell sortie mean? I love how the sprites just move back and forth, that's a cool. All seven of us start walking by the river. We're a group of childhood friends, but we're a bit... No. We're very unordinary. There is! Who is he? Is he waiting for you? We're a group of fighters, and all the girls are at least. Like yesterday's group of thugs, a man wearing a dog, doggy, is waiting all by himself. That's horrible. Why would he wear a dog? A fight is going to happen. <laughs> Man, if she's this strong, I want to see her master. You know, he's got to kick some serious ass. She has no openings. This is gonna be a quick fight. The opponent suddenly apologizes. She laughs in delight. Delight, I tell you. She's going to fight seriously in response to his determination. Right here, right now. Let's get this done with. I got stuff to do. The crowd is gathering around us again. Get the crowd away. Hi, hi. 
That's so adorable. You need to come forward, Captain. <laughs> what the hell is this? Is there any wanko? The Kung Fu fighter Nissan stand face to face by the river. And he's already out. That's his mating call. just killed that guy. <laughs> that was a quick match. Been knocked unconscious. She's amazing at kicking ass. Don't shake me, I know, I know. Moshi moshi. Yep, it's another one. Kawakami children. You're back in a way. They get a lot of business. She takes care of people who formally challenge her. But the ones who lack manners are punished in a way that goes beyond their rudeness. You never lose. Until when you do lose. I like before the battle, Neeson looks unhappy. Radio show? Well, hot dog. Let's go. Must have been just my imagination. All seven of us crossed the bridge of weirdos through the temple of fire. Winko must be excited from the battle as she walks in front of us while shadow boxing. You put yourself on the line for your buddies. It's a moving story. Hmm. Our base? Sure, whatever. No, it's mine. Fine. Damn it. No! Good. We didn't get baited here. Exactly. Don't trick me. Don't even go there. Don't even start the waterworks. I'm sure it's scary. I can take fake tears. Well. I can't see through you. You're opaque. Whoa. Shut up, Gakuda. Let her take her. I don't want her. Fine. She gets the attention and she's dating her, so... Everyone's happy. Yeah, attractive as a Mount Fuji. Now that's the pickup line I need to use one day. I'm an Everest, apparently. Hmm. 
No. Please just give me a break. Shut up, Kazuko. I'll get you a cold croquet sandwich just because you said that. I know, right? They're all jerks. Let's go, Takio. We don't need them. Jerks. Think about getting an after school job again, Captain. Got any leads? Are there any high paying jobs? Break your bones. What kind of job is that, man? Tens of thousands of yen for an arm. What? I don't want that job even if it's in the medical field. A game where people are chased by a gay guy and they have to pay a fine when they're caught? A fucking what? A fucking what? What? What kind of fucking jobs you got, man? Call the captain gay. That's not cool, man. What joke? I don't get it. It's not a joke. It's supposed to be funny. This is just stupid and creepy. Okay, do you know of any normal jobs? I probably should have specified normal before I talked to you. Of course you don't. 30 meters behind. Because we use the metric system in Japan. The person is watching the seven students talk happily. Oh, she's so quiet. She talks to the black horse cell phone strap. Is that the horse talking, Mat Matsukazi? Is, can that actually talk? What am I talking about? I'm acting like this game is supposed to surprise me, but it's not. Be broad-minded. Well, she is a broad. Mizumi Yuki, the first year student of Kawakami Academy, looking for friends in all the wrong places. What? Jim, kick his ass, please, so I don't have to do it. I don't want to get my clothes dirty. Right, fuck him. Look at that smile, man. You, that's the last thing you see before you die. This is even creepy. Yeah, man. Don't follow strangers. Listen to the stranger. Stranger danger. Aren't for the taking, they're for admiring? Okay, man. You might want to shut up because you're starting to sound a little like that one guy. The bridge of weirdos is filled with weirdos today, like always, hence the name, it reels up to its reputation. Well, that's enough of that, so I think with that, I'm going to end the video off here, and I'll see you on the next part. I promise it'll be longer. I had to cut it short because I have things to do, unfortunately, so I'll see you all next time. Take it easy.